What's up guys, welcome back to another supplement review. So today we're gonna be reviewing the stack for America Labs. We're gonna be reviewing Stars and Stripes and Red, White, and Boom. So Merrick Labs is a sister company um, to Core Nutritionals. So um, more or less they're similar but yet somewhat different. Um, I've tried plenty of Core supplements and I was always intrigued by the Merrick Labs just by what they present. And so let's start looking at the Red, White and Boom. So this is a pre-workout supplement which is similar to um, the Core Fury. So this is a really high dosage of caffeine intake so it comes with um, 5,000 milligrams of creatine monohydrate um, L-citrulline beta adenine and um, lots of caffeine 400 milligrams so um, it's one scoop per serving so if you guys are pretty much um, have a very high tolerance for um, pre-workout this might be good for you if you guys have a very low tolerance this might hit you like a brick, like a train, something that hits you really hard. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this along with their um, Stars and Stripes, which is similar to their um, Core Pump. This is a pump supplement. So again, this comes with um, L-Citrulline, Hydromax, just to keep everything high, um, hydrated. So um, today I'm going to be having a push day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking one scoop of this, which is per serving and one scoop of this with along with a big cup of water and I'm gonna be filming some footage of me in the gym training just to see how my body reacts to the supplement to see if it comes to life and I did already have my pre-workout meal so everything's digested already and for the flavors I'm take, trying out today is I'm trying to free, um, both of them are the freedom flavor so it's like the popsicle flavor um, I typically like to have similar flavors when I buy when I use two supplements because it tastes kind of a bit funky in my opinion when you um, mix up two different random flavors but uh, let's try it out so one thing's for sure is the scoop sizes are pretty big compared to your other standard um, at least to the other standard pump tech that I've taken and for, for the pre-workout it's pretty intense as well it's a pretty big scoop similar scoop so we're gonna go with it let's see So right from opening it, it does smells. Um, it smells pretty good. Um, this it, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming because it's a lot of powder. So if you think about it, the serving sizes are pretty big. The scoops are like this big. So one thing I notice about supplements is everybody's body reacts differently. So um, for example, you guys all know I love C4. Um, they get a pretty bad rep by other bodybuilders, but to me, I really feel it. And there are other supplements like um, I think the Core Fury. I had Core Fury and um, Core Pump years ago. Um, I thought that was okay, honestly, for the price, it was all right. Um, I didn't feel too crazy. Um, the Core Pump, I really liked, but the Core Fury was uh, mediocre at best. Um, that's why I was, I was actually a little bit hesitant to getting this, but um, I just wanted to try it out. I'm a guy that likes um, you know, different stuff. I like to give chances. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot and let's see. Let's go with the taste test right now. So mixability is a little bit foamy um, which is pretty standard for like a lot of um, pre-workout and pump supplements all right we're gonna go with the taste test it's pretty good guys it's pretty enjoyable um there's like a nice little sweet and there's like a little sour taste at the end but overall it's pretty enjoyable um you can't sit through this mm. It's not bad um it does have a little chalky aftertaste but it's not as bad as the core fury that i've had in the past because in the past i don't know if it's been sitting i got a batch that was bad but it was just very um foamy it was very there was like a chalky taste um it just didn't mix well but this one it's not bad i mean I, you do see some residue here but it's not to a point where it's like it's unbearable So as you guys can see right now, 
no pump, feeling pretty flat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be finishing this up and I'll be recording a footage of me working out today and hopefully you guys get to see this and when I do come back um, I'm going to give you guys a honest opinion about what I think of this supplement. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so came back from the workout, did some food shopping, and um, what I have to say is um, I noticed that my concentration was really good, energy was really good. Um, it took some time, I had to, you know, just like all supplements, I had to warm up first, get the blood flowing, but once I got warmed up and I had a few sets in, my body was pretty much alive. Um, I didn't feel any of the jittery feeling that um, I would normally get if I would kind of like start fresh on a new caffeine product but I think that's due to the fact that my tolerance for caffeine is really high however I was really pumped um, I'm gonna show some footage and my arms were like about to explode and my chest was just really full too so um, honestly I would recommend this pro these two products um, if you can't afford it definitely stack them together um, the flavor wasn't bad um, it was. I definitely like these two products more than the Core Pump and the Core Fury. Um, core Pump was pretty good, but um, I didn't really like much of the Core Fury. Um, I didn't like much of the taste or just didn't really feel great. But with these two products, I definitely felt better. Um, I did enjoy them better. Um, I would get these again for myself, this stack. So um, that's it for today's review. So if you guys like it or you guys want to try it out, give it a shot. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.